Hey, hey, it's Jason ODB, the Lincoln Addict, coming at you guys with another video. Hope everyone's having a great year so far. Also want to let everyone know that I'm working on the next couple episodes of Lincoln Addict Podcast. Make sure you check out Lincoln Addict Podcast via any podcast, most podcast apps, including Apple Podcasts and Podbean on Android. Let's jump right in here what I got going on. So uh, it is still getting dark earlier, which is not my favorite time of year. And I'm going to do my best to make sure the lighting's hopefully decent. Before I jump in, I do want to let you know I have a link in the description if you want to support the channel. Go buy, um, I think there's only a couple, maybe two of these left. This is the OG uh, Lincoln Attic sticker. And then this is the newer one. Much more coming from Lincoln Addict Merchandise in 2022. But for now, if you want to support the cause, go buy a sticker. And I'll send those out generally the next uh, business day. So, um, this is a super rare item. I want to do more of these type things on the channel going forward. I want to thank Chris Dunn. Uh, Chris actually had one of these and I was able uh, to track one down before I knew that he had one and before I made a decision on purchasing it uh, I was at Chris's house one day he's of course the Lincoln Land owner and Chris said hey I've got one of those give me a minute boom found it and I was like man I gotta own one of these so um, it's a 64 as you can see Comet Mercury Lincoln Continental Accessories book so this is something that would have been at a dealership that would have given the salesperson, back then they were called salesmen, the salesmen an opportunity to seize the moment and potentially sell some upgrades to the purchaser of these new, uh, to this said car. Now, you can imagine um, accessories back in the day probably did bring in some good money for the dealerships. It is crazy to see some of the prices that I've seen, even with some of the features that were available on these cars doesn't seem like a lot of money in today's standard, but you know, air condition, you know, a little over $500. Uh, you know, you by today's standard, you'd be like, yes, add it, no big deal. It doesn't cost a lot, but you gotta remember things, the dollar was worth uh, a different amount back then. So uh, let's jump right in. Now, I don't wanna spend as much time going through the, um, the other stuff in here other than the Lincolns, but I do wanna hit upon it. So. Basically, you've got this nice binded deal, and these these are really nice. Um, they're either chrome plated. I, I wouldn't say that they're stainless, um, but they're 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 super nice. You got this little piece here that says '64. Um, not certain if if the way this this was, you know, if there would have been like a big rack system that they would have put this in. Um, you know, things that I remember seeing in offices back in the day, but. This is the way uh, it opens up. So it kind of talks about there, you'll be surprised at the many special accessory items available to help personalize your new car. And then it ends with let him, again, salesmen, let him help you personalize your new car to suit your individual tastes. You also have over here the tab, so the Continental Mercury Comet, as we kind of talked about. And I do think it is worth going through some of this. Uh, so you got a blank page over here in the back, and there's some super cool stuff. Now, I thoroughly love seeing the images. You know, this is really like a time capsule because, you know, these cars were basically announced like September, October-ish of the previous year. So you'd imagine these are some of the first cars potentially off the uh, assembly line. And, you know, these are going to be used for promotional images and things like that. So I love also looking back here to see what's in the parking lot. And, you know, you can imagine whether this was actually a retail outlet. It kind of looks like because there's a post office there. Or if this was somewhere on Ford's facility. Uh, I'm assuming it's somewhere in the Michigan area because you've got this mannequin right here. <clears throat> now these pages are not too tough to fold I, I do take kind of care with them it's easier to kind of come up here and we'll go into the first tab so that was kind of the intro image here you've got the content so it talks about 
uh, specifically C2 through C11 here. C11 is the windshield wipers, everything's in alphabetical order. You could get a little bit of an idea of what they're going to show. So seat belts, believe it or not, they were not required. The value of seat belts cannot be overemphasized. A comment factory and dealer installed accessory. So, you know, basically manufactured by the OEM for the most part installed by the dealer. So again, I'm going to kind of whisk through this since, you know, we're more concerned with the Lincoln stuff, but um, I, I just, I just love these close up images. Uh, it just really brings you back to an awesome era. And again, I have to, um, these pages are, this book hasn't probably been looked at very much over the years, so I have to kind of take care and um, kind of go in between the pages. So cover all front floor mat. This one, of course, goes over the hump. This stuff I love seeing. Chris Dunn had some original car mats and some of his um, uh, wagons. And it's so cool just to see the original stuff. I really, really, really like it. Here you've got cover all vinyl front uh, front floor mat. Here you've got the deluxe wheel covers. Safety door locks. So I've kind of seen these before in images and um, it, it basically made for, you know, the, the child um, from what I've seen not uh, being able to unlock the door. And it kind of says there, they automatically lock when you press the button down and unlock with a key or similar device. <laughs> See these a lot in the Cadillacs. Yes, I'm going to say the C word, Cadillac. But again, pretty cool to see here. It was officially, at least for the comment, something that you could buy at the dealer. That was the litter basket. So yes, a radio. Driving is much more fun when you have a radio to keep you company and entertain you. Imagine today not having uh, podcasts or music or news or NPR or something, whatever you listen to. Imagine not having that uh, in your daily commute if you have one. Okay, here is rear seat speaker, AM, FM. So again, you know, this isn't the Continental, so to speak, but gives you kind of an idea of some of the stuff that was available. Windshield washers electric clock still to me cool image you know obviously film back in that day and you know they would have had to pay uh, you know maybe an ad agency or some sort of photographers to take all of these um, these still photos power steering there's no hard work with Comet power steering and no play in it either It does kind of break down with some of these, whether it would be like a dealer installed. Some of the smaller stuff, you know, obviously would be uh, some of the other stuff potentially is something that, you know, they're going to add to the order itself. If you were looking to leave the day, that day and wait several months for your car to potentially come in. Here is door edge guards. I've hinted at this a little bit. You'll see it with the link end stuff, but the door edge guards, you know, this was something that they could easily put in. Have your dealer install a set on your new car before you take delivery. Very cool era. You can see the way she's dressed. You see the brick building in the back. Awesome stuff. Here is non-glare rear view mirror, remote control side view mirror. You also see here, you see her purse. Rectangular side view mirror, combination spotlight and mirror. Pretty cool to see this stuff. You'll see it on some cars, you know, mostly uh, typically associated with like a police type vehicle. Circular side view mirror. And then this, Chris and I were talking about very cool stuff. I mean, stuff you probably just do not see anymore. Very rare. Uh, ski rack. Here you have tissue dispenser. So this is kind of more, I think, what I've seen in the Cadillacs. Maybe 
the trash dispenser, but tissue dispenser typically. Here the sirens in the back. Here you have illuminated compass. So right here, pretty cool image. Sorry for the loud noise. Engine coolant heater. Right, depending on, I've always lived in Florida. I wouldn't know what that kind of stuff is. Heater and defroster. So you could imagine, again, some of these factory installed pieces. Here you have luggage carrier, covered roof luggage carriers, cargo mat, and all-purpose wagon pad. This is cool. I mean, just to be able to have something like, you know, people used to do picnics. I mean, that stuff is long gone. Uh, pretty cool stuff here. You know, not my probably favorite accessory. Uh, the roof rack, pretty awesome. And then uh, Chris had one of this and uh, one of these mats in the Country Squire. And it's just great to see the original coloring and things. Here you have engine and trunk light, license plate frames. Believe it or not, that was, uh, that was an accessory. I have one of those somewhere, I need to find it. Here you have the tachometer on the dash. And this is super rare, Chris and I talked about the rear window screen. The perfect way to get comfort and ventilation in your Comet without letting in insects. What size insects do you think those would have been? But I know what you're thinking. When you pull that down, my understanding was it was like a screen door on your house. You pull that entire thing down. And then, you know, that would block the big stuff coming in. So it wasn't just like, you know, what you originally, what I originally thought, like, hey, bugs coming in. You can see a couple more things here. Pretty cool. Uh, people tend to, to, to uh, laugh at fire extinguishers. Tony and I have talked about this before. It's definitely a safety thing. If you have an older car, highly suggest that you add a fire extinguisher to it. If you're driving to a show, whatever, have it in the car. It says this handy, instantly operable safety accessory is one that should not be overlooked. And we definitely agree. If you've got a Lincoln 6465, we've talked about it. Your amp gauge could blow out. It could cause a fire. You either need to upgrade it, you need to bypass it, or you need to do an upgrade of uh, you know, to, to an aftermarket uh, gauge like Dakota Digital. Uh, cleaners and polishes. And then uh, the good, good, good stuff here. You get to Lincoln Continental. Love this image. Kind of ties in, obviously, to the very front. Uh, you kind of see the same lady. 64 with red interior. Stunning. And you have some of kind of like an accessory, not accessory, but like a mall-type atmosphere. You've got cool depth of field here. So I'm not really a photographer, but my dad loved taking photos. I do too. You, know, you kind of see the plant in here, the beautiful car. Probably, I would say, you know, maybe October, November of 63, these were taken, I would assume, being that this had to be out, uh, maybe even a little bit before that. I've talked about uh, through the press kit that I have, that talks about the day that they would be announced, kind of when the embargo would have been lifted, uh, when the information would have been able to be, you know, published. And, uh, you know, I've talked about that in the past. And, you know, I'll probably cover it more in the future with Lincoln Attic Podcast. So contents here, you see a lot less. And the reason for that is because these were um, such, such uh, vehicles that had so many features, right? So many factory installed features. So Door edge guards, I mentioned that. Floor mats, individual contour, and the vinyl. Headlamp dimmer, automatic. You'll hear people call it an optical eye sometime. License plate frames, AM, FM radio, seat belts, and speed control. Now, uh, this is a cool image here you see her putting on the seat belt. Uh, the seat belts in 64, super rare. And uh, the 65 that I have has a set of 65 factory uh, seatbelts. And it was because Robert installed those. He sourced them and he installed them. They came from a Lincoln, but in 64, they're definitely rare. Um, in, the, in the back, my 64 does have them in the front. So just to be clear, the backs were not required in 64. Um, 
But again, they are, from what I've seen, they're pretty rare overall. Um, the one thing I think that's different is in 64 here, you see this where it comes up. And I guess I've thought of this, but I haven't thought of it. Um, I know in my 64, the seat belt comes through here. In 65, it's got the little retractable deal. So that was one difference that I, I don't know that I've talked about in the past. Okay, so cool stuff here. Automatic headlamp dimmer. Now, I'm not a scientist. I'm not an engineer. Um, all I can tell you is that this was like pretty high tech. So you'll see this on the dashboards. Um, this was pretty high tech, I would say, for that era. Not all cars had them. Obviously, Lincolns were highly optioned cars. That's what I was trying to think of earlier. And the uh, automatic headlamp dimmer, uh, it talks about right here, operating ease and convenience go hand in hand with Lincoln Continental. And here is a nighttime safety accessory that adds to your driving pleasure. The electronic device automatically dims your bright lights when activated by the headlight of an oncoming car. It is available in eight colors. So pretty cool stuff there and you can see the rest. Now I tend to always think it was available in black. I did recently see a car that Tony show, shared some photos of a 65 and I immediately was like, oh, it has the red. And I do tend to forget that those were available in different colors. I typically see them in black uh for instance my 64 has kind of the bluer dash but that top dash pad is black and i think it was to help cut down on the sheet you know some of the lighting and stuff you know from the sun the reflections and things such as that although <laughs> so much other stuff was you know reflective but very cool image here you see the guy's right hand and then you see the oncoming car so that uh would have you know clicked automatically instead of you having to on the floorboard with your left foot click it from high beam to low beam. I talked a little bit about this in a video that I did prior on my 65 uh, AM FM radio. So it says uh, you add to the luxury of your Lincoln Continental with this modern AM FM radio designed especially for your new car. The transistorized push button AM FM radio offers you a new adventure and listening pleasure. So again, the things we have today definitely we've come a long way you can see the fm you can see the am i'm going to do more videos in the future to talk about the difference between 64 65 slightly difference uh slight differences i should say rather and uh, you can see kind of the rest is is pretty standard you see the air condition kind of controls there and from here uh you're not able to see it looks like from right here on the shifter that uh, that's the button for the tilt column. I talked a little bit about that since my 65 has it. You can't see the middle part next to on the left of this gauge. That would tell you right away, um, looking at that typically if it has tilt column, but this is kind of the, the giveaway here with the, with the button. Here you have individual contour floor mats. I have one of these for the 64, a blue one, I'd love to have another one. They are repopped. Uh, I think Mark II offers them. And then these vinyl floor mats, I had a set when I got my 67 back in the day and they were dingy. By today's standards, I probably could have got some clean, uh, some good cleaner and probably cleaned them up and I sold them for like nothing. And in hindsight, I wish I would have kept them. But you can see this one's different. I've never seen one of these in person uh, because it goes over the middle and it just looks a little bit different, you know? Um, you can see how plush uh, Tony and I, man, when we see a nice 64, 65, I mean, you look at the seats. He recently uh, had sold a 64, a gold one, and man, the seats were just like literally, they feel like, you know, they felt and they look like they came off the showroom. Okay, speed control. So the uh, I have talked about this a little bit on the podcast. This feature did change uh, visually, uh, you know, throughout the years. But basically, on this year, 64, you had the speed control right here. So if you ever see that on one of these cars, it's probably not working, which is not a slight against the owner. I do know that they tended to have problems. There's people like Blair Farmer that can fix them. But bottom line is uh, that's what the speed control is. Here you see the door edge guard. So technically, this was a feature. And door edge guards are available for both Lincoln Continental models. Place your order for a new set now, and they'll be on the car when you pick it up. 
my assumption is that it was a dealer installed piece. It's a simple thing anybody could have done, but I don't have 100% confirmation. Maybe someone can chime in. They, they park super close to the curb. That's like killing me here. The white wall's like on the curb, but. Uh, deluxe license plate frame. So again, I have one of these that Tony gave me and I don't know what I did with it. I gotta find it. It came off a California car. He gave me the plate. I have a different frame on it for now. But um, that, if you have one of those, it technically was a Lincoln Continental dealer install accessory. When he puts the license plates on your new car. Notice that. Big difference. Everything was he, he, he. <laughs> okay. So this, I, I, I shared this image recently. Uh, I love this image. I think it's pretty cool. It kind of shows off there the vert alert, as we always say. You can see it's, you know, the same car. It's the white with the red interior. Can't really tell of the red interior here, uh, but based upon what we've seen so far, we're looking at the same car, right? Uh, so kind of a cool image, right? You probably had uh, someone up on some scaffolding or a ladder of some sort. Obviously, drones uh, were not a thing. Uh, there was not an option for the passenger mirror until 66, so you'll notice that is gone. Some people wonder why would they not put the mirror on there. Again, safety standards were different. Also, it gives it a sleeker look, whether you like it or not. Uh, I prefer, and there are repops now, there's a, you know, companies that make those mirrors, but it is one thing to note. You do see the front seat belts there. Um, again, those were an option, and I tend to think that they're I tend to think that they're more rare, but I do think a good amount of people did opt for those. Um, but I have seen plenty of cars where they're not in there. Of course, the backs did not have them. I don't think it was even an option in 64. Here, uh, here are other accessories that will help. So litter basket, engine coolant heater, fire extinguisher, fuel tank lock cap. I have one of those and I wasn't planning to show it, but I'll do a video in the future. Um, they looked basically just like this. This is an, kind of a, an old school one with the lock. And um, I'll talk about that more in the future. Ski rack, some of the other things that we saw, tire inflator and sealant kit, tissue dispenser. Your Lincoln Continental dealer will be happy to furnish you with additional information relating to the accessories listed on this page. What I think is cool is the, one of the last things I wanted to mention about the Lincolns is when I, I recently did an episode not too long ago where I talked about the 65s. And I primarily did that because I was getting ready to get a 65. I had worked a deal out already and we kind of tied it into the day that I think that they were originally announced as, as I think what I did. But I talked about a lot of the features and there were <clears throat> more things, as you can imagine, that were available that were not listed here. So I'll talk more about that in the future, but I did want to let everyone know that what you saw here wasn't 100%, you know, all inclusive. Um, technically, air conditioning was an option at 505 and some change, I think it was. So, you know, just note that this book didn't does not have everything, but you know, it gave it gave the to probably the dealers a little bit of an option to start talking and go, hey, oh, you want AC? Well, what about the uh, the contour bucket seats and things like that? Um, and you know, depending on how high of a roller you were you were in it to win it. So I'll kind of jump through these quick here. You see the Mercury, a lot of features and it kind of reinforces some of the things that are available. Thankfully I had this light going again because it got dark quick. Uh, like for instance, Lincoln didn't offer the tachometer and you see other stuff here, windshield washers. I mean, that was a standard feature on the Lincolns. A uh, very cool picture here, safety seat belts. Uh, Chris and I talked about, this is the economy air condition. So uh, mounted under the dash. And this is the deluxe air conditioning that was mounted like in the dash, right? So you're a little bit higher end model. You know, if you wanted to have it more built in, that's kind of where we're going with that. Speed control. So you can see it's on the dash there, a lot different than the Lincoln safety door locks so this kind of says children have exquisite minds and fingers uh, you know for their protection it kind of goes in it's a good idea to have a set of safety door locks installed 
on the back doors of your Mercury to help prevent the small fry from inadvertently opening the door while the car is moving. Again, so many different features today that you may not even think of in new cars. Uh, cover all front door mats. Of course, you got the, the lady with the, with the legs there driving. I mean, could you imagine driving with high heels like that? But I'm sure it would take, how long do you think it would take to put a hole, hole in that? Comment below. A week, a month, you go in two months. I mean, it looks like she's already digging in. She's digging in. Cover all vinyl front floor mats. Deluxe wheel covers, again, some options that just typically, or that were not available. Uh, illuminated compass. And I'm sure some of these things you could be like, hey, well, I want a compass for my car. And, you know, I'm getting a Lincoln. Uh, okay, no problem, you know, but this, this is just the way the book was created. So you kind of get an idea of it. Ski rack, man. Was never into skiing because, again, I'm from Florida. I, we did water ski as kids. My, my parents loved water skiing. We had a boat. We went out on the lake. They, we grew up on a lake. Uh, this mirror is similar, if not the same, to Lincoln. Someone could chime in and probably say that. But if you own a Lincoln, you know the back of it looks just like that. Non-glare rearview mirror. Lincoln's had that where it switches and it says day and night. Crested side view mirror. Hooded. Side view mirror. I mean, ooh. Combination spotlight and mirror. Circular side mirror. So many options. What do we do? What do we do? Door edge guards. Talked about those. Heater and defrost. Here you have another cool image. Windshield wiper or windshield washers. Engine coolant heater. Load levelers. Okay. We constantly get grief from people like saying, why do you bag these cars? Why do you make them lower? Blah, blah, blah. Well, air suspension has been around a long time. The concept goes back to the 1800s, believe it or not. And um, even earlier than that. So, uh, sorry for the noise over there. You get even greater load capacity or carrying capacity from your Mercury when you have dealer installed compensating type shock absorbers. I'm talking louder because people are driving by with music going on. Don't want music in these videos. Tissue dispenser. You have here luggage carrier, covered roof carrier. You saw that. You get a different image here of the mat in the back. Dude, check that out. The convertible tonneau cover. How many of you guys have seen this? Here's an easy way to protect your Mercury convertible interior from rain, dirt, and hot sun when the top is down. How about you put the top up? But cool feature, probably very sought after by someone that collects all the stuff i've never seen one in person a couple more images here rear window screen we talked about that earlier tachometer engine and trunk light remote control deck lid opener release well stuff you don't need on your lincoln uh this you have the uh light Lighter, license plate frame, we talked about fuel tank locking cap right there, and then the litter basket. Tire inflator and sealant kit, fire extinguisher, reflector flares, flexible driveway markers. Hey, I'm gonna, another PSA. Make sure you have a fire extinguisher, but make sure you have some reflective flares. My friend Teresa, TC, she gave me a set of these, and I'm telling you what, you never think about it. If you're broke down at night, these cars do not have flashers, okay? Especially 64, it's rare in 65. If you run out of juice and you've got no battery, and you're in the middle of the road, you don't have anyone to help push your car, you are stuck like Chuck. So I say that, get a set of these, uh, they make them, you know, you can buy them at Walmart and stuff. The reflective flares, I have a set that are lighted, and I helped uh, a friend one time. He was broke down in the middle of the road. And luckily, it was a kind of a desolate road. But he didn't have enough power to really push the car. By the time I got there, it was pitch dark. And he had zero battery. And it's like literally, unless you have your phone out, waving your phone, you're a sitting duck. And if somebody comes by and they've been boozing or whatever, dude, it could be catastrophic. So, some stupid little things. I know I'm probably sounding like the old guy. But... Uh, you know, I want you guys to, to have fun and be safe out there. 
and your LC and your LCCs, right? Lincoln Continental and Lincoln Continental convertibles. So as I go back to 64, I'm gonna wrap this one up a little longer than I had anticipated. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. Click the link if you wanna buy a sticker. I think there's, again, I think there's only two of these left maybe, and there's only a handful of these left. So get them while you can, stay on the rise, and we appreciate everyone. Check out Lincoln Attic Podcast. We got you here.